So same way we need to see uh, uh, that uh, related. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is the set related program. I want to show one set related program. Sorry, guys. Okay. So what you are going to do here is uh, print a union and the intersection of the given elements. So two arrays uh, we are giving as input. Two arrays we are giving as input. And uh, so we need to print the union and you need to find out the intersection between the two arrays. So create hash set collection. So set, see that uh, we are following the generics here. Set integer connection so hash set equal to new hash set. So here the second uh, right hand side, the angular bracket I placed it. And uh, can you observe this? This is the wrapper class we need to write, not the primitive data types. So collection accepts only wrapper class objects, not the primitive data types, not the primitive data types. So not the primitive data types. Data types. And uh, so even if you write a left hand side, you can, so you can mention or you can leave it empty also. Both will work. Okay. So iterate the first array and add each element to, to set collection. So these array elements you iterate and add them one by one to set collection. So how to iterate for loop? Obviously you have to use a for loop. So for int i equal to zero, i less than array one dot length i plus plus. So and h is that means collection dot add array of so array of i that means so we are adding the elements here we are adding the elements so one by one element first element will add to the collection and like that it will loop for all the elements of the array same iterate the second array and add each element to set collection so how to add for int j equal to zero, j less than array dot, array two dot length, j plus plus. So it just dot add array two of j. Here array of one of j, one of i, but here array two of j. This I'm adding array two elements here. Now what will happen? You added the array one elements and you added array two elements. Now you print that, what will happen now? So it will, join both the elements, but even the duplicates are there, it won't give you duplicates. It will give you only unique, unique elements. Set so to that's the, how you can, so union means what? So only the joining all the, both, right? Both of them. So, so that is the, this, how to find out the union of, so these two arrays. So intersection means, what is mean by intersection? Only, only common thing uh, it will give you. Only common thing. Common so like this. For example, you have a, uh, so here, sorry. So this is this portion. So that portion is the, the common thing. Okay? So this portion, okay, so to fill this. Maybe, yeah, to fill it. Well, there's no filler. So, okay, this portion, okay. So this portion is called uh, intersection. That. So that part, this, this is the intersection part. This is the intersection part. 
So that part of elements you need to find out. Okay. So that is the intersection. Okay. So let's go on and find out the intersection of elements. So arrays. So and uh, no, you print the array of elements. Okay, array one and array two elements. So create hash set collection. Set integer hs equal to new hash set of you know array. So now for int i equal to zero, i less than array one dot length i plus plus hs dot add array one of i. I'm adding the elements. Same, whatever we did on the top, same we are doing here. So, but you can see here, so the second array is important, the logic we are building up. So, iterate the second array and you add each element to set collection. For int j equal to 0, j less than array 2 dot length, j plus plus. If hs dot contains array 2 of j, so, yeah, array 2 element is present in this collection, then you print it. If not there, don't print it. That's the intersection of common elements. If it is there only, you print it. If it is not there, don't print it. So, are we clear? Any questions here? No, sir. No. Yeah. So, print duplicates. There are some more methods I'm adding. So print duplicates in the given array. So how to print duplicate elements in the given array. So set integer hs equal to new as set. So this one for int i equal to 0, i less than array 1 dot length i plus plus. If hs dot add double equal to false. So add method will return a... So Boolean value, right? Yeah. If it adds, no, if it is adding the element, it returns true. If it is not adding the element, it returns a false. So that means if it is not adding, means already that element is there in the collection. So that, that element I'm printing. That's a hash set uh, method will, uh, hash set class you can use. So to print the duplicates. Even you can eliminate the duplicates also, same procedure. Then you can, so get only hs dot add. So it will add, then you can print the, so here that uh, hs collection, only unique elements will be there. That's how you can eliminate the you know, duplicates also, the same logic you can use. But you don't need this one, okay? So just add it and you know, automatically eliminates the, uh, duplicates. So basically collection of the set collection doesn't take uh, duplicate elements. Right. It only takes the unique elements always. So integer array, so array one equal to this one, integer array, array two equal to this one. So print union, so array one, array two, and uh, so common elements from both arrays, we can uh, take it up. Uh, that's the union. So the intersection will take the common elements. And duplicates also here, you can see two, one, three, five, three, two. So here duplicates, so what are the duplicates? Three, three two, two. two. So those two only it has to print. So the generic format I have shown you set collection completely, see? 3 and 2, it printed. OK. And uh, that's the one thing. And let's go. OK, so this is another program. Let me show you There's some programs, more programs. If you write, you'll get a better idea. And the logic will improve, basically. So this is another one. Arrange uh, even first, then odd numbers. Okay, the, so you are going to give an integer array. So first, what you need to do, you have to arrange them 
even numbers first. It will be anywhere in the array. The elements can be anywhere in the array. First, you have to arrange the even numbers, then arrange odd numbers. So that's it. Okay. So now, see, I'm I'm taking it to uh, to array list. So list integer even list equal to new array list. So list integer odd list equal to new array list. So take you know iterate the array. Iterate the array to add even numbers for the even list and for int i equal to zero i less than num dot length i plus plus so check the array element is even or not so you check the array element is so this array element is even or not if num of i percentile by 2 equal to zero then add even list dot add that element if it is a even element add that element to so this uh, collection so else add that to our list uh, so you add it because this is a c so i'm i'm giving a integer wrapper class object so even though you are in uh, array is a primitive data type object but here so where it comes to collections you have to declare wrapper class objects so even list dot add all uh, all list so system dot out dot print ln even list okay so that's the so you can combine the two list see for even list you are adding the all list so all this all list elements will go and join here Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So just uh, no, uh, give the array so because you have to give an input for this uh, method and uh, you can just store it and call the method. So the static method you can call directly on another static method. Just pass the argument of this array. So then it will return for you. Execute this program. See this. First one, two, five, four, seven, eight, eleven, twenty. Now we observe this. We arrange it first only even numbers, then odd numbers. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's the another. Uh, we have seen even see list collection also have created in the generic format. Set collection also I have created in the generic format. Right? So non-generic format also I have shown you with all the methods. Uh, next. Uh, okay. So this is another very important method. So what this is uh, going to do here is I'm going to reverse array list in place. So reverse array list in place. How can you do that? So we're going to use uh, no, array in reverse in place. We have done right already. Yeah. So we have done uh, so array in reverse, uh, no, reverse array in, in place, same way reverse array list in place reverse array list in place reverse the array list in place how to reverse the array list in place so list 
string list of food new array list so this is the string type so this string type you can put it here so list of food dot add all arrays dot as list so beans soup dark chocolate yogurt sauces pure vegetables nuts so these are the some of the no uh, elements all the elements i am adding to this list collection so this is the no interface the collection name equal to new array list so array list dot add all method array list dot add all method array list dot add all method so you can add all of them how we are adding please catch this point add all method after calling add all method inside you have to call again one more method arrays dot as list method yes, as list is a static method in this arrays class so both this one and all these classes are in the java dot util package only java dot util package okay. only so as list means you can specify your list of elements why i am giving only strings my data type is string. string so generic type is string string type so this collection generic type is string type so that's why you have to uh, so add all these elements so system dot out dot println and you can list of food so you can take list of food and int size equal to list of food dot size Thanks. so you can find out the number of elements in this collection so you got the size so now let's uh, reverse this in place reverse this in place means i told you from first element to last total list. size by two you have to do. total size by two you have to do and then you can uh, get it so you should not take last element last element if you take you are iterating all of them right that's not the right approach in place means positions you should not change only elements will be shifted that's the in place means so this is the most effective approach to reverse a, you know array or array list in place means so always divide by 2 the total length divided by 2 that means you are not iterating all the so elements from first element to last element you are you are halfway you are going that means halfway you are you know uh, not doing so that means you are saving time right the time saving is more that is the this approach so for int i equal to zero i less than size by two size by two you have to do and i plus plus now see that you count it the size is seven is there the total seven are there for int i equal to zero i size by two means seven by two so the size will come three right around three right so mm -hmm. it will be by two. So you have to do always by two. So that's that's how you can calculate. So final string food item equal to so this collection dot. How can you get the element from the collection using get method? So collection dot get of i. So this is the very important. First i value is zero. So next it will come to this area, right? Zero yes. less than seven by two. Zero less than seven by two, how much? Zero less than seven by two, how much? Is uh, true. Zero less than 3.3. .3. No, I don't. So integer means in decimals why you will get it. It will truncate, right? Automatically. Yeah, zero less than three just three okay yeah. so that is a true right true means what will happen it, it won't go here it will go after this condition is true immediately jump into body, body. body. so body it will come so get a list of food dot get of zero get of zero means what is the value beans. beans beans will store in the food item variable next 
So list of food collection dot set method. Yesterday I explained set method. So set and this uh, I value. I value is how much currently? Zero. 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 So zero place. I am placing the last element. I want this last element. How can you get this last element? Size minus Instruction get dot get, get of size minus i minus, I minus, I minus one. Minus. Size minus i minus one. Size minus, minus i minus, minus one. Minus. You are going to use it. It will get the element. So it will get the element, and you can uh, so give it list of food dot set size minus i minus one food item. So it will be and now our automatically. What will happen in the last position? I am placing the first element you place the first element okay you place the first element so that is the this uh, so sixth place i'm keeping this beans so now you just moved here that's it place is only fixed but only elements you are moving here and the first this one you are taking and placing here and before doing that, you are already storing this, this value so that you, you won't lose it, even if you set it to you know this value. So that's why this food item variable, it, this beans is there. Next, so automatically I value will increment now. So I value will increment to two, uh, sorry, sorry, zero plus one, one, right? One less than three, true, and comes inside list of food dot get of one get of one means soup soup will store now in the food item variable now it will come list of food dot set method set method you have to give index and value so what okay what value you want to set in this index list of food dot get and size minus i minus i means i is the one now one. so size is uh, seven minus one one minus Seven minus one, six. So six minus six, one, five. five. So in this place, so whatever the value is, there will be pure vegetables will come and store in the, so this soup place. So this pure vegetable will go here and here it is. And that's the how you can get it. And then list of food dot set uh, size minus i minus one. That means in this place, in this place, the soup already this food item you value you are storing there. So next, so I value will increment. Now I value will increment to so it is uh, I equal to one plus one two. Two plus two one two. So next two less than three. That is true. So comes inside. So now again this. It will go to condition, it checked the condition. So true came, came inside and it will get the value. What is the value? List of food dot get of two. Get of two means dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate will store in the food item. So dark chocolate will store in the food item. Variable. Now here, so two. So this will be I value two currently. So two place. List of food dot get size seven minus two minus five five minus one four. four. In this place, fourth place, whatever the value is there, that value I'm bringing and storing in this dark chocolate place. So now it will come. So those uh, sauces will store here. Now here also the size minus size seven minus two. 5, 5 minus 1, 4. 4 in the fourth index, I am storing the whatever this dark chocolate here. Next iteration, it will go. I value will increment. So now current I value is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. And uh, condition 3 less than 3. Um, no, true or false? Sir? False. False. So it doesn't come inside. So that's the where is the you execute? If you manually do the iterations, then you will understand the code. If you just you know doing you know, just copy paste writing the code, 
you're never going to learn. Don't do that. How I did now, step by step, do that and you will learn the programming. You will really love it. So if you're not doing that, uh, you never understand that coding. So even any complex program also you can understand like that. Right? So this is the original uh, array list and this is the after reverse. See? This Sorry. Any questions? No, no, sir. Somebody's voice came just. Okay. So that's it, um, these programs. So let's uh, move on to the next programs. Uh, we'll see when now we have to understand the map. So we have completed till now list to set to and their programs. Now we need to understand map. So what is a map? So the map is, uh, here I have given a lot of programs. It's your uh, patience, right? You can uh, go and you know practice all this. See, I had given examples also. You can just go and practice them. So next, what is a map? So map is another concept. Basically, map. Till now, we are just storing them only value, only value or storing. Right? So you are not storing the key. Any key is not there. Just value will be there in your collection. So now map means you can have a reference to your value. So that's the key value reference. So every value has a key. That's a reference. So map is nothing but so it contains values based on the key value pair. Key value pair. Each key value pair is known as a, each key value pair is known as a uh, entry. Each key value pair is known as a, an entry. So a map contains unique queue keys only. A map is a useful if you have to search, update, delete elements on the basis of key. Okay. So if you want to search or you want to insert, you want to delete on the basis of key, this is going to help you. So a map is useful if you have to search, update, delete, Elements on the basis of key. So there are you no know, uh, two you no know, interfaces to implementing the so sorry, there are three classes which is implementing the map interface. So map yes. interface is implemented in hash map class, linked hash map, and tree map classes. So there are again map is having a sub-interface sorted map. This sorted map, so is implemented in the tree map class. Map or sorted map, both are implemented in the tree map class. Mm -hmm. So map is implemented in the hash map and linked hash map. So hash map and linked hash map. So a map doesn't allow duplicate keys, but you can have duplicate values. Hash map and linked hash map allows null keys and values, but tree map doesn't allow any null key or value. Any null key or value. So a map can be traversed. A map can't be traversed. So you need to convert into a set collection and using a key set or entry set method. You can so convert into, so 
की सेट और एंट्री सेट तो टू टू इट्रेड टू इट्रेड देम यू कैन यूज दैट एनी वन ऑफ दैट सो की सेट आल्सो गिव्स यू सेट कलेक्शन एंट्री सेट आल्सो गिव्स यू एन एंट्री सेट कलेक्शन एन एंट्री सेट तो सेट कलेक्शन इट विल गिव बट ऑल द एंट्रीज विल बी देयर की सेट कंटेन्स ओनली कीज फ्रॉम द मैप इट विल फेच only keys it will fetch only keys from the map so that that it has that set is going to have keys only entry set is going to have entry entry means key value pair that key value pair is going to have in the set collection then you can iterate the set so you know how to iterate the set right that's the how we can iterate a set collection so but let's understand what is a hash map linked hash map tree map all these three classes are used to implement the map interface so what you will use so we will use to implement the map interface so map interface are used to implement it and a map doesn't allow duplicate keys but you can have duplicate values and a hash map is just it's going to be implementation of so map is going to be implemented but it doesn't maintain any order like hash it also doesn't maintain any order same way hash map also doesn't maintain any order so linked hash map is the implementation of map it inherits the hash map class but maintains the insertion order so linked hash map maintains the insertion order even linked hash set also maintains the insertion order so which order you inserted it will return the same order that's the linked hash map class so tree map tree map is the implementation of map and sorted map it maintains ascending order it maintains ascending order so it maintains the ascending order tree map is the implementation of map and sorted map it maintains ascending order so useful methods of map interfaces so put method first method in the map is put method so we have a add method for list and set to insert the element but if you want to insert the key value pair in the map what is the method you need to use put method. method put method so put method what are the parameters key, key and value. value so what is the key data type object object value data type object, object. if you don't know that that's a data type is going to be object if you if you make a generics key data type is a one generic data type and value is another generic data type you can make it then the key should be that data type and value also should be that data type. for example key is a string and value is a double so such cases always key is going to be string yeah. and value is going to be a double okay so like that you can uh, create a map uh, whenever you want to work with the maps so that's a put method it will insert the entry into the map so put all method so it is used to insert the specified map in the map so like for example this map you want to insert into the map the put all method will insert into the map so put if absent put if absent so put if absent key value so put if absent it insert the specified value with the specified key in the map okay so if this key is present so so if it is not present only this will be insert otherwise it won't insert so remove method object key it is used to delete an entry for the specified key it is used to delete an entry for the 
specified key. So Boolean remove object key, object value. It removes the specified values with the specified so keys. So that's the remove method. Either you can use this one or you can use this one. Okay, you can specify a particular value also. Anyway, keys are unique only. Remember, keys are unique. Values can be duplicate. Keys is going to be unique. So there won't be a duplicate keys in the map. So map always going to have unique keys. Values can be duplicate, but not keys. I was talking about this key set method. See this method written type is set, set. set collection. So key set contains only keys. All the keys will go and store in the set collection. Entry set method. So entry set method is, see entry set is returning. What is the written type of set? Set. The generic type is map.entry. This is also written as a set collection, but there is a generic type map.int. So it returns the set view containing all the keys and values. So clear method, it is used to reset the map. It is used to reset the map. And uh, so compute method, uh, these are all not necessary for us, but these two widely used. And one more, there is a contains key, contains value. These two are important. Contains a key, it will check this key is present in the map or not. If it is present, returns to the return type. This is the return type method. That's why Boolean value it returns. If not present, it returns false. Mm -hmm. oh, false. So one more, contains a value. So the given value is present in the map or not, it will check. It will go and search. This method will go and search this value is present in the map or not. Equals method. The equals method is compares the current map value with this value. So that's the equals method. And for each method, you can use for each method also. Get method, object key, so this is the very important again. How can you get the map value? So what method you have to use? Yes. Get method. Same we have seen. How can you get the list value? Using get method only. Here also get method. So object key. So get or default. Uh, you can use this method also for getting the default value based on the key. So E is empty. It will check whether the map is empty or not. And this is a very important again, equals method, hash code method. So please understand, I'm going to use in one, uh, you know, a simple example, you know, interview question. Uh, so I'm going to explain now that question uh, will use this equals method, hash code method, put method and contains method. So contains key, contains value. These methods you will use. So what equals method will do? It will compare, right? So specific object with the map object. Hash code method, what it will do? It will fetch the hash code value for that object. What is hash code means? Uh, it will give memory, va memory, memory value. Memory value. Memory value. Right. Memory address value, right? Yes. So that memory address it will return. So that's the this hash code value. So important that one. So let's go and see how. So there is a map dot entry interface. So map is one interface. Entry is a sub interface. So that entry interface inside we have a get key get value method. So get key will return the key value. Get value method will fetch the value. Hash code basically maintain get the hash code value. So what is hash map? Hash map class. See that hash map extends the abstract map class. This is the abstract class. Abstract map is the abstract class. If anybody asks also, you can give example for this. Abstract class example, abstract map class. 
So hash map class implements the map interface by using a hash table. So it inherits the abstract map class and implements the map interface. <laughs> Java hash map class contains values based on the key. Hash map class contains only unique keys. Hash map class may have one null key, multiple null values. Hash map class is non-synchronized. Hash map class maintains no order. The initial default capacity of Java hash map class is 16 with a load factor of 0 0.75. So initial uh, capacity of a map is 16 buckets. Each bucket is bucket is what, what purpose you use for carrying something, right? Here it will carry the data. It will carry the data, each bucket. The bucket inside again, you will you know, have a link list. So node one, node two, node three, and so on. So you can add a chain of data. So that's the this hash map uh, class. And hash map class contains only unique keys. Hash map class may have one null key and multiple null values. So hash map class is non-synchronized. Hash map class maintains no order. The initial default capacity of hash map class is 16 with a load factor of 0 0.75. So that is the hash map class uh, so description. And uh, the structure, how it is you know, defined is this the one, public class hash map. So see in the angular brackets, key data type, value data type you have to provide mandatory when you're creating object for this hash map class. The generics you have to use extends abstract map class, implements map mm -hmm. interface, clonable interface, serializable interface. So these interfaces are implemented in the hash map class. So that's the how the you no know, implementation happened the map inside the hash map. Again, these are the constructors. So methods we already discussed. I don't want to discuss again. This is the very important. How hash map works internally? This is the interview question. Even for the developers, also they will ask this interview question. How hash map works internally? How it will store key value pair? That's what this internally works means. So how it is storing in the buckets, the data. So that's the, I'm going to show you now. So internal structure of hash map is first create a hash map object, map string string. That means what is mean by this? String string means? Key data type value. Key yeah. data type is a string, value data type, value value data type is a string. string. So this is the map name. Map name, you can give any name equal to new hash map. Hash map. So this is the one. So now here the 16 buckets will store here. 16 buckets Bucket. will store here. Now, so internal structure, so you know, uh, how it works is first only 16 buckets, it will be there. Then what about if more data is there? So the load factor is 75% or 0 0.75 or 3 by 4. If 3 by 4 is filled, another 16 buckets will add. That's the concept here. So keep increasing, the, so it will expand automatically. So that much fast it will you know, expand automatically. That is the, so hash map class. Link list stores the data in the form of buckets. Link list mm -hmm. stores the data in the form of buckets. Mm -hmm. So this is the, so each, you know, uh, no. So in this each one is one bucket, right? That buckets inside the link list will store. Link list will store. Bucket is nothing but a link list. In link list, one node pointing to the other node, see? 
these are the nodes. This box is there, right? A white box. That's a one node. Another node. Another node. Another node. Each node is going to have a data. Like that. So linked list will be chaining one another the other with a node concept. So that's the linked list means. So each bucket is going to have a so linked list structure. Each bucket is going to have a linked list structure. Sir, so how it is a linked list structure and the, all the data will go to the same, same bucket? Not like that. I'll, I'll show you that. Okay. So, so this is the one structure. So this is the one bucket, right? This is the one bucket. That bucket has a linked list structure. Second bucket also linked list structure. Third also like that. Like that, 16 buckets it might have a linked list structure. So, J will take the put method to insert the value key value pair, but how it is inserting so on what basis? Say, for example, you called a map dot put method FBA. Now FB is the key, A is the value. Now how it will store? In which bucket it has to go and store? How it will calculate? First, first step, please catch this. It will take the key and find out the hash code of that key. What is the first step? Find, Find the hash the code of, hash code of, hash code of key. 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 That's important. So key dot hash code matter. So suppose you got a hash code 2236. Hash code means memory address, right? This is the memory address you got. Every bucket has one memory address. So that memory address, the bucket memory address, it will get it. Then, so that memory address index, which is the you no know, memory address, this memory address belongs to which bucket? We have one to 50, uh, zero to 15, right? Zero to 15. So that means 16 buckets. Okay, which index is that? So that memory address belongs to which index? The second step is based on this hash code, it will calculate the using single ampersand, single ampersand, will be used to calculate the bucket index. It will calculate the bucket index. So you got the bucket index. The bucket index is 12. That means 12th bucket, this key value pair will go and store there in the linked list data structure. Linked list data structure. Now, so next step. So are you clear on this first step? Yes, sir. Everybody clear on the first step? Yes, sir. First and second step. Yes. When you call the put method, what is happening? String. First, it will set the hash code of that key. First, to find the hash code of the key, you will get the memory address of the that key. key. So, that key. And then, based on the hash code, it will calculate the Bucket index. index. The bucket index it will calculate. Mm -hmm. Hash code ampersand length minus one. If you do, it will calculate the so bucket index. The bucket index is twelve. You got suppose this is just an example I'm giving, but you will get a in one to six one to sixteen only the bucket index. Next internal structure of so this how it will work. See bucket mm -hmm. index twelve you got so it will go in that twelfth bucket one node will create in that node the key value pair will go and store key value pair will go and store there next suppose take one more key value pair so are you clear on this how it is storing see bucket index then put method will put that key value pair into one link list node on the bucket index take one more key value pair suppose map dot put key and value key and value so key and value so key and value so now what will happen so step one find hash code okay find hash code so the key dot hash code method so it will key dot hash code method so it will hash code value will be there and then hash code and length minus one so here 
and that hash code ampersand the bucket index so the total uh, length of the you no know, map minus one if you do you'll get the eighth bucket oh. now what, what is happening here this eighth bucket already 12th bucket you have a first key value pair now second put method this ld and b is going to store in the eighth bucket, eighth bucket. so now see you have a bucket index eight now it will choose the eight bucket and eight bucket the key value pair will store in the this one node so in the node format it will store so node format it will store so like that uh, so this is how it will store the elements into the map but let's uh, take one more data set to explain a few more concepts like a uh, hash collision and uh, some other concept i'll show you that what is hash collision so this is another interview point this what is mean by hash collision hash collision means the bucket is having already one node the bucket is having already one node so the bucket is having already one node and again jvm tries to place one more node in the same bucket please catch this read this very very carefully read this the bucket is having already one node suppose 12th bucket and 8th bucket is having one node already right mm -hmm. but jvm is trying to place one more node in the same in the bucket. same bucket that means here one more node it is going to add so that is called hash collision okay let's see that okay let's see that so take one more data set map dot put ea c now first what will happen ea hash code will find out that's the first step never changes okay always key hash code it will find out with the hash code method then second step with that hash code you will find the index so bucket index is 12 you got it so 12 it will be there and uh, now you got the same bucket as a previous one now what will happen already one bucket is there so now it will check if same key is present in the bucket if same key is present in the bucket or not it will check using equals method same key is present in the bucket or not it will check using equals method if same key is present then jvm will update the existing key with a new value so what is happening same key is, same key is there yes. it will update with the new value new yeah. value if same key is there means i told you keys are unique right yes. so same key is there it will update the, update value, the, the value same node so this is the another point they asked see single point they asked in the interview several times asked even i faced this question at least three to five times i faced this question okay i have a map in the key value pair in the map and uh, same key with a different value i'm going to insert what will happen the value what will happen will now will key value will be updated the so key are. value will be updated that's it that's the answer you have to say that okay if uh, they give values also you tell the new value old value won't be there so that's the answer so you have to they, they will ask. that's why every point is important if you understand that you can answer there very easily so that's how it it will check bucket index 12 put and uh, so eab so check if two objects are equal two objects means key first key and second key both it will compare so first key is so fb right it will compare if this key first it will take the this key a dot equals fb both keys it will compare if both are same or not same not same not same so what will happen so it will create a one more node 
and this key value pair will go and store in this node, second node. Like that, your linked list will grow. So keep growing. So when it will grow, if the same bucket comes, if same bucket comes, so it will be part of it. So that's the main object of that. And if the existing key is not equal to new one, then new data will be added like this to the same linked list as a second node. Now you can observe the linked list is growing. Linked list is growing. If same, this value will be updated. If not same, this is going to grow. And so the summary of entire thing is see that. See the summary. So first you are in, you know, inserting with a put method, key value pair. Now immediately next, what will happen? Next step, it and will the take this for the key, hash code. calculate the hash code. Then based on the hash code, what is the next step? Find bucket, the bucket, bucket index bucket based on this hash code. Hash. Next to bucket index, hash code, based on the hash code and this ampersand, it will calculate the bucket index. Once you bucket index, you found it. If the Hash collision happens. Hash collision means what? Hash collision yes or no? Same so bucket. no or yes. So hash collision yes. Hash collision yes means what? Same bucket okay. you are entering. Then now immediately what will happen? The equals method will come into picture. So it will compare. So <coughs> current key, already existing key, both are equal. same, okay. equal. Then Add to linked list that. by replacing the existing the... equal node. And if not same, what will happen? Add to link list as a it's next node next in list. the same bucket. If hash collision is not there, simply add to the link list as a first node. Mm -hmm. There is no hash collision at all. That's the first element. Then it will add a single node. That's the whole. Ah. Uh, whatever I explained, the whole picture is explained here in this single uh, screen. Okay, the complete summary is in this screen only. If you understand, you can this diagram, you can easily explain. So how searching will happen in linked list? So that is one by one node will search. That's a drawback of a linked list. So basically it reduces the performance. Suppose I want to three, item three. How can you find out first two? Item one equal to item three, it will compare. Then not, it will go to second node. Item two equal to item three, no, not equal. Item three equal to item, so then it will return. So that means you're going all the iterations. That's a, going to reduce the performance. That's a drawback, but Java 8 has uh, no, so some enhanced formats. So we can use that uh, things to you know, uh, handle that performance issues. So how the key will be, okay, you stored it now, but how will you get it? Using get method. So again, get method also follows the same. Map.get, you have to give key as a yeah. argument. So then based on this key, it will find the hash code. Then it will find the bucket index. Mm -hmm. Then go to that bucket and find out the, uh, no, the mm -hmm. this key is in which node, it will check. So if this node, first node, it will check. As I mentioned in the top, how it will search the key. So if the first node it is available, it will fetch. If it is not there, it will go and search in the second, second node. It will go to second node. Here it is available. This value you will get C, you will get. Mm -hmm. So get method will return the C. That's how it will return. So that's all about uh, how hash map works internally. Tomorrow we'll continue. Okay. And uh, so I will uh, we'll finish that uh, complete uh, course tomorrow, Java course. And uh, then, so Monday onwards, we'll see the 